Look who's feeling better. We are out of our local Goodwill down the street from my house. We're gonna go inside to see if we can find a flip line for a profit. We got some Peter Millar driving shoes. Peter Millar is a good brand. That's the brand right there. And um, these are in really good condition. Driving shoes are gonna have the thing on the back where you're switching gears and you're not messing up your shoes. These are pretty nice little loafers actually in really good condition. Super, super lightweight. Must be for when you're shifting your uh, your Ferrari or something when you're in your Peter Millar shoes. A brand new hat. 99 cents. I love DC. That ain't a bad hat right there. We'll probably do another all hat whatnot show that went over really well. I might throw this one in there. Probably for like two bucks. Ooh. Pair of Allen Edmond Ashlands. Got some heel drag. The thing about Allen Edmonds is they always sell for me. I know a lot of people have trouble selling Allen Edmonds, but as long as they're in decent condition, like these are, these are the wingtip all the way back ones. Really, really nice. That's a pair of $40, $50 shoes all day long. So doing pretty good so far. Always like to walk backwards in the shoe section. Really confuses other people. What are these things? Mark Joseph, handcrafted in Brazil. We might have to look these up. They don't seem too quality, but they might be. I've been fooled before. I did look up those shoes and they're gonna be 100% a pass. There was a whole bunch listed and not a whole bunch sold and they looks like they usually sell for only like $15. Uh, some $15 free shipping, which means I think you're losing money at that point, or $15 uh, plus shipping. I think you need a buggy. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna go get your buggy? I think I need a buggy. What did you find? This isn't for... That's not for selling. Is that metal glass? Mm -hmm. Man, that's gonna go good in the booth. I'm gonna use it for tacos. Tacos? Yeah. Huh. That's a lot Couple of tacos. Yeah. I don't know what type of boots are these? Oh, Johnson & Murphy. I don't know. These are Johnson & Murphy. Some Johnson & Murphys go for decent money. These are made in India. You can usually tell a good boot by the leather. That leather looks good. They put out some good shoes. I got Peter Millar's. I got Alan Edmonds. What is this right here? Waterproof? Waterproof boots? Oh, Earth Spirit. So much to look at today. We haven't been in the Goodwill in like three days. I feel like I missed everything. What else you got? Columbia boots. Oh yeah, they're like nice. Really good condition. Super good condition. Yeah. Yeah, they're nice. Look at these Rockport walkers. Power walkers. These things are nice. Yeah, these are sheepskin. Johnson and Murphy's. They're probably gonna go for 40 bucks. Easy. And they're in really good condition. Just a little dusty. These are actually so like no no uh, drag on the back or nothing like that. Got a little water stain. And I'm not the best about getting that water stain out though, but. That ain't too bad. Killing it on the shoes today. Somebody did ask us about uh, selling shoes. They, they are slow sellers, right? Like we might sell, and last weekend we sold three pair, but they always sell for us if you pick the right shoes, so. So Shimano fishing? Jumping beans. Oh, jumping beans. Is the one next to a jumping beans too? It says mighty beans. Oh, is it mighty beans? Dude, I've sold these things for like 40 bucks before. Are they full up? You know some of these things are worth like hundred dollars if they're the right one. Oh wow, yeah. Look at that. These are yeah, I think they're called mighty beans or something. So those Mighty Beans are going to be a good pickup. It looks like if you go in line between high to low, there are specialty Mighty Beans. One that actually sold for a thousand bucks. I don't know if that's true or not, but there is one that is sold for a thousand dollars. Just one of them. So be on the lookout. It looks like the that we have the Series One uh, case, and some of them looks like we'll get forty dollars for the case plus the Series One stuff, and then probably another twenty bucks for the uh, loose Series Two stuff. So that ain't too bad, but be on the lookout for those Mighty Beans because uh, the complete sets can go hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So is that a cow? That He's is. utterly funny. <laughs> get it? Utterly funny. Uh, utterly funny. <laughs> Whoa! He's got a, he's got a name. Two thousand two, Homestones. Home still. Interesting. That fish. That's a cool fish. That is cool fish. That's booth worthy right there. How much is he? Ten dollars. Not booth worthy. Good. He is. He is. Sorry, buddy. He's shelf worthy. He's shelf worthy. Right there on that shelf. On that shelf. Oh, did you see all the salt and pepper shakers? No. Where are they at? Are they good? Are they asking four dollars a piece or four? Yeah. 
No. There's no way. Why would you only buy one salt and pepper shaker for four dollars? I'm gonna have to go ask. That's crazy. Cause I'd buy them for four dollars. Where's the manager at? But that's that's crazy. They should wrap them up and sell them as a set, right? Instead of selling them separately. Hey, isn't Melissa and Doug good? That's a Melissa and Doug dinosaur. Probably take a Google lens of that one. Yeah. Oh, you have a snail. Uh, Melissa and Doug is only worth 20 bucks, 30 bucks, oh. 20, 2,727 peas, whatever that is. You definitely need your snail, bro. Oh, I'm not allowed to call you bro or dude. That's right. Oh yeah, bro or dude. Honey bunny. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling you honey bunny. Hey, this <laughs> could go on your shelf. It's not old though. You probably get this at the Dollar Tree. I'm thinking, right? I don't know. Yeah, he's not. I like my elephant. Yeah, your elephant's cool. Thomas O'Brien ivory drops. Nah. The 20 years old though. I'm telling you, that 20 years went by so fast. Cause you think 2004 wasn't that long ago. It's actually when I graduated high school, if anybody was wondering. Doesn't feel like it's been 20 years. Over at the bag section. We've been doing so good with bags lately. Oh, look at this old Wilson US Open tennis bag. Some old Wilson bags are actually worth decent money. I don't think it's the tennis bag though. I think it's the, um, it's only $2.99 though. Oh, that makes it a little bit more appealing, right? Yeah, um, I know this, the Wilson duffel bags. That's a switch uh, thingamajiggy. So I did look up that Wilson leather tennis bag and I was right. It wasn't actually the tennis bag that's worth a lot of money. Some of them are listed for 30 bucks, but it doesn't look like they, they sold for a whole bunch. But the duffel bag, the Wilson leather duffel bags do sell for about 45 to 50 bucks. My dad has listed one of these shakers made in Austria. It's chrome over brass. Remember, he has the thing listed for $300. So now I'm looking for chrome over brass cocktail shakers they could be a bolo he hasn't sold it yet for that much money but what is this thing martha stewart what's martha doing with this thing right here it's got like a hole in the bottom of it vanilla honey scent made in vietnam do you smell its bottom side here to make it smell like that? I have no idea. We're we'll gonna have to take a picture. And it's called Julia Knight. Mm -hmm. It's got Mother of Pearl inlays right there. It's got super lightweight. Is it pewter? Uh, it's got another name on it. Oh no, it's just her signature. Julia Knight. It's four bucks. You said some of her stuff goes for how much? Whoa, well over $100. 150 140 155 and they were bowls these are like a serving trays but those were like bowls yeah so the serving trays are like mother easy. of pearl yeah she puts a lot of mother of pearl stuff in her i'd say get it for yeah I, I think that's a there you winner. go that ain't too shabby yeah julia knight who would have thought all right up at the front here i'll have to see if kayla thinks this is a good deal there's a little bit of wear right there on the latch for the vera bradley but these things are only like 99 cents so i don't know we'll see what she thinks about this one there's no stains on the inside of it but for i mean usually we sell these on whatnot and then let's check this old relic out the leather wallet i'm telling you wallets nowadays at the store like 30 40 bucks you pick them up here for 99 cents flip them on line for ten dollars or something like that you're still doing pretty good what do you think about lion king fanny pack Ooh. no mm. no not for what not so they should be only 99 cents right so and then veer bradley no uh, it's got um, that's just a little poopy no. no it's a little war nothing so both of these are no goes yeah I'm all right see. you all heard her so you liked your Puma, you liked your Puma fanny pack over the... The Lion King? Over the Lion King yeah. fanny pack. There's no way. Yeah. How much are fanny packs? I'm not sure. 
If they're 99 cents, we should have a fanny pack um, competition, competition on whatnot. <laughs> we'll see what fanny pack you brings would win. Them. How do you know? Because people no. would, yeah. People love you. They might just, people no. Love you. I think I want to go, we're doing it. If you're buying your fanny pack, I'm buying my fanny pack. There's a lion on here. That looks like a, uh, is that Tory Birch? Oh, wow. Probably just leave that behind, you know? <laughs> we don't want no Tory Birch. Get that out of here. Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go get my fanny pack. Made in France. It's just my gut. Oh, what is that? Augusta, is this, um, re Fairway Relics? Yeah, this is actually a good, uh, Augusta 12. These guys, I think that's gonna say Fairway Relics, and they make, um, like, bookends. Their bookends go for 60 bucks. We've sold their little trinket dish dishes for, like, 30. So, this one might go for, like, 15. They're so intricate. Look how they even have the, uh, the flag there so this is the exact augusta 12th hole hmm. from augusta so i want to look this up but that's probably worth about 15 to 20 bucks mm -hmm. this guy right here 100 percent, more than 100 percent sell through rate zero listed seven sold as high as 60 bucks oh, i told you yeah goodness. it's the see this one's in, like not broken it's got the flag there but these they're it's, it's actually fairway replicas um but i'm telling you these things right here are worth a ton of money and they are easy to ship all right, so we did get the two fanny packs. We're gonna have a fanny pack battle on our next whatnot. So these will be not this Thursday, but next Thursday, it'll be linked down below, right? And you're thinking your Puma is gonna beat the Lion King. Yes. Really? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know, it depends on the people. Everybody likes the Lion King. Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. This is the Pro Rod Z GT 5.0. What's a camera? 5 a camera? Does it mean it's got a cam in it? I don't know. It's an RC car. It doesn't have the remote to it. If I had the remote, I'd probably buy it for myself. What type of batteries does it take? It's got the big... Dang, I have to actually look this thing up. I don't think it's worth any type of big money. But that's actually... It's pretty cool. I mean, it needs a better paint job. It's looking a little rough. But that's pretty neat. If you're a Mustang fan, you got airbags in the back. What's it doing back there? Check this one out. This. I saw the big tag on it. Yeah. I think it's. They go for like over 100 bucks. But I think this one's a little bit too. I don't know. What do you think? What's the inside look like? Because they're duffel bags in this green and leather trim. If you get the duffel bags, they're 300 bucks. Pre owned. Yeah. Let's see what the inside of this. Orvis is, you know, back in the day. I mean, they're still a good brand, but they really made some quality. Dang, the inside looks brand new. Oh, wow. It's like one little stain right there. That does look good. That does look good. On the inside. I don't know, the outside just looks a little bit. Oh, this is always the dilemma. How much is it? $5.99. Still, dang, I don't know. Still rides nice. There's nothing wrong with the wheels. No flat spots. It's made to look kind of beat like that. That's pretty nice. I don't know. Ah, oh, dilemma. What do you think? One went for the for a hunt. One went 105 bucks plus shipping. Dude, that's like booth worthy. That thing Right? Is, that's only $6. That thing is cool. That thing is super cool. It's got like it cool moves. bells on it. Oh yeah. Need more cowbell. Uh oh, it's falling apart. Yeah, that's definitely, what do you think about that? Oh, no? Oh, is it? What do you think about that? Yeah. You think it's too beat up or no? So. For six bucks? We could clean that up. Put yeah. Some baby wipes. Some baby wipes. That's a good. That ain't bad. So, but if again, if you find the duffel bags, duffel bags are three hundred bucks. This one easy hundred dollars. I mean, we're gonna travel next year. I might. I ain't got one of these. This is a perfect little carry-on guy. I don't think we're gonna carry nothing on because we're probably there's a jaguar. 
know, not quite as good. There's a lot of money in luggage, vintage bags. Way more than we thought. What is this one? It's got no tag on it. But it's got to be the right stuff, you know what I'm saying? These are the things right here that can be worth about like half a million dollars. And then you're thinking it's from like Marshalls and it's not. This one is from Marshalls. No, it's from TJ Maxx. But if it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? How much are they selling a uh, premium charcoal? $4.99. Ooh, some of these bad boys can be worth some big money. What are these, Chicago's? They got some good action in them. How much they want for them? Size eight, I mean, only $7.90, which is such a weird price. But these are Chicago. Man, these are made in China though. These are the newer ones. If they were the older ones, they would be a buy. I'll still look them up, but I do not think that these are going to be a buy. Um, they're in good condition. The stoppers are in good. Leather looks good. Like but we'll look them up, but usually the older ones, when it comes to that, it's better. Dang, I must have overlooked these things right here. Or they were just put out. These are Irish Setter red wing shoes now they're a little bit different than the actual red wing shoes um these are the camo boots the irish setter hunts but they're still going to probably be pretty decent these are actually really nice boots they should be waterproof yeah ultra ultra waterproof uh they want 6.99 for them they're putting these new tags on the stuff in the goodwill which is weird i don't know what that means they're like individually pricing stuff but everything's the same price but these right here i'll take a look at them and look them up but i really think that they're probably gonna be worth about 40 or 50 bucks cool thing about camo stuff you really don't have to wash them i mean just clean them off a little bit and that will be good to go over in the hat bin still haven't got my uh buggy yet check that out right there There's something like fuzzy in here this little Harley Davidson cab hat, cabbie hat, size large, 99 cents. All day, every day. Hopefully, man, usually when you find one Harley Davidson, you'll usually find another. There's a Green Bay Packer. Ugh, really rough condition. What is so glittery? Good grief, something has ex it's that. Let's put you over here, bud. You are really ruining, ruining everybody's stuff. What is that? Made in where? Hand knit in Bulgaria. Hmm. Harley Davidson hat and Orvis. What is this? Bola? Something like this. Sometimes I feel like it can be worth like so much money or absolutely nothing. What's a tag look like? 80% wool. Made in Italy. Huh. I have to look that up. Some of these beanies can be worth some good money too. Nah, it doesn't look like no more Harley Davidson. I found me. Irish Setter Red Wings boots. Brand new. These are like 150 bucks. Pre-owned, probably 50. And then obviously the Orvis. Still haven't got a buggy yet. Check this out for the Harley Davidson cabbie hat. Nice. Distressed. And then an Italian Bula hat. Bula hat? I don't know. It says it right there. Huh. Almost looks like somebody wrote that on there, but that's not true. They didn't. That's, um... They go for like 30 bucks pre-owned. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. It's like the Italian ones go for way more money. So this one's made in Italy. Oh. So it's like 30 bucks. Yeah. Can't beat that for 99 cents. Proud support youth target. Oh, I don't think it's a youth target. I think they're just proudly supporting youth target. Dude, 10 bucks for a, these things in the store are like 50 bucks, I think. Yeah. 50 or $60. It's been used on that side oh, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, but that, I mean, you still got this side. You're a big bow and arrow person. When was the last time you shot a bow and arrow? Oh, it's been a long time. How long? Do you have a bow? No. I think I have a bow. I think I may have sold my bow. I think we, you did. Did I sell my bow? Mm -hmm. That means we'd have to find a bow and arrow. Would your parents let us shoot bow and arrow at their house? Yeah. This you can buy it on Amazon for $43. Oh, jeez. $43 is still, is that plus shipping? No, $74. I don't know. What do y'all think? Cue the sirens. 
So there's only 15 bucks for everything in there, which is actually pretty good because this hat will probably go for 10 to 15. And then this hat's gonna go for like 30 bucks. And then you got the boots right there for 50 and this right here as high as 100. That ain't bad stop. I think we're gonna go to a couple more Goodwills to see what we can find to flip online for profit. We are out at the Snalvation Army. The reason we call it the Snalvation Army because this place has been slow lately. We used to find some good stuff in here and just recently, not so much, but I feel, I feel optimistic today. I feel like I'm gonna find something. So the Snalvation Army held up to its name. We found absolutely nothing in that place, but we're out at the Bounty Hunters Emporium for our booth to take a picture. We have a ton of stuff to put in here, but we just need to, the, the picture helps, doesn't it? Like we go in, take a picture, and then you know where you can put stuff. And uh, so we're gonna go in there and first see if anybody came by or if we sold anything. We haven't really stocked the booth in probably what, like two weeks, but we have a lot of good stuff going in probably on Wednesday, this Wednesday. So probably when this video drops. So we're gonna go in here, see if we sold something. All right, so we actually did pretty good. We sold one of our mugs to a cat. She came by and said hey and also signed our book and wrote us a little letter so we much appreciate it also john and sally from new york came by so we do appreciate it and um we also have a card from little bits pieces from elizabeth we'll go and check you out it looks like you have an instagram and we'll see exactly what that is very cool so we did actually sell three or four items actually i think five items in the booth um small trinket dishes and one of our cups we have a lot of merch coming in here especially for the summertime coolers koozies and we are selling out of these little guys uh so these are the beauty thrift machine cooler stickers we only have two left but i think kayla's gonna make some more but other than that we're gonna stock this thing up i mean like a ton come wednesday so we're gonna get our tickets and stuff in here so we do appreciate everybody coming by and supporting and be on the lookout on Wednesday in this place. So we just stopped at our P.O. box, which is actually linked down below. And thank you so much to Michael, sent us a video cassette cleaning system. That's Cause, awesome. Yeah, because I actually didn't even know they made such a thing. And uh, the Tahoe says, put on your seatbelt. We We're not even moving. How's it? Why does it want us to put our seatbelt on? <laughs> so Michael, thank you so much for that. Like I said, the P.O. box is listed down below and we appreciate it. So not a bad day out there thrifting. We did pretty good. I think I wanna do a tally on this one about how much we actually make in profit because this is a normal day for us. And it only takes us, uh, we start around nine o'clock. That's when the first uh, store opens is nine o'clock. And we usually thrift until about noon. So what is that? Nine, 10, 11, 12, like four hours of thrifting. And we can actually get the video edited and all these items listed in one day. So you gotta think that's probably about eight hours or 10 hours of work, which is not too bad. So I will do a profit margin on this uh video just to show you exactly how much we made today and then what we're doing now is we're cleaning out one of our storage units because hopefully 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 we will get some storage units tomorrow there are a ton of them going up because we need some inventory and we need some storage units so i do appreciate everybody watching remember if you're not subscribed subscribe comment down below like the video you know i'll always get you whoa on the next one hit the tahoe a little hard there what is that plastic <laughs>